So folks, we have some breaking news, which is that Steve Bannon, one of the final holdouts in all of this, is surrendering. He is willing to surrender, he's willing to fold, he's willing to break, and finally go and speak to the J6 committee, because frankly guys, he is utterly terrified of going to prison, and that's the path he's on if he continues to obstruct. I want to play for you some reporting, and what's critical here is that this story is very real. It's confirmed by multiple sources, including WAPO, but a lot of people are wondering if this is Bannon trying to be cute, trying to be tricky, trying to use this as an opportunity to grandstand. I want you to watch this, and let's talk a little bit about it after. I, I want to get you as well now on the Bannon news. Uh, this is an individual who was the first to defy the committee and made a big yes. deal that he was willing to face jail for stonewalling. Uh, the Washington Post crossing an important story tonight. The way they put it, I want to be clear, is that the headline says Trump could waive claim of executive privilege for Bannon. Now, what's interesting here is, number one, Trump hasn't engaged on these privilege claims for most of his aides. Number two, Bannon doesn't have legal privilege because he wasn't in the White House at the time. Um, and number three, unlike Meadows or Cipollone, you have someone in Steve Bannon who is facing the very real prospect of a federal criminal trial which, uh, to bring John Flannery back in, which, if he loses, could go to real prison time. And I want to remind people, it doesn't matter whether the committee still technically exists later uh, or what happens in control of Congress. Mr. Bannon could very likely end up in prison, which I think his lawyers warned him. How do you interpret what, what seems to me to be a, a pretty major Washington Post story tonight, Friday night, uh, John, that basically suggests yes. that as soon as tomorrow, uh, Bannon might fold and try to cooperate? Well, I, the cooperate is where I stop uh, because I'd have to see it. I consider the fact that executive privilege is granted by Biden, the present president. Right. Uh, and so it's irrelevant that Trump does it. So why does Trump do it? Trump does it because that's what Bannon has said already and he wants it to happen. And why does he want it to happen since they both know what they did together? So my feeling as a prosecutor would be this is a Trojan horse coming in to spread nonsense and to try to, from inside, blow up the investigation. Let me now, let me press you now that. let me press you on that, John, and then I'll let you continue. One, I think what you're saying is a very credible suspicion. Uh, Mr. Right. Bannon waltzing in to talk does not mean that he's there to help the investigative goals of the committee. Uh, and yet, number two, I want to get your your view of the the breakthrough, because the committee does want him there, even if they find him difficult or even if he pleads the fifth, as Mr. Eastman did. Um, the committee's leadership has said he has this duty. So they would look at this as a win if this happens tomorrow or whenever it were to, according to the right. Post. Um, how do you view that as as Garland actually putting heat on these people rather than sitting back and saying, oh, it's a house matter. I'm not going to deal with it. Yeah, well, we have experienced prosecutors on the team that is working on the January 6th committee. And so I think every prosecutor or a lawyer, a trial lawyer, has the notion that when they stand up, they make a decision. The witness is likely a truth teller or a liar. In this case, what they'll want to do is to have the kind of information that when he says X, they can say, well, you said not X this other time. And that's how you control a witness that you're very suspicious of and that uh, you look for those things that you can corroborate or contradict. And that gives you a test whether he's telling the truth or not. I would think in short order, as skilled as he believes he is as a deceptor of the first order, that he would be he'd be caught up. And I can imagine him after a couple hours uh, cross examining. I just wish I had the opportunity. But there it is. I actually don't know what's up here. Clearly, Bannon is surrendering. Clearly, he's folding. Clearly, he's going in with his hands up. But I don't know if he's doing so fully sincerely. I think he wants to still screw the committee, but he's truly terrified of prison. And while ostensibly Donald Trump is going to give him permission here, it still amounts to the fact that even Bannon, one of the chief cultists, is going in to testify against Donald Trump. This is a massive day. Everyone is folding. No one is staying 100% loyal to Donald. But Bannon, it might be a trap.